Hey guys, how are we doing today? Just another, you know, DVD Blu-ray book, you know, junk update. Um, I've got some random things to show besides Blu-rays and DVDs today. Um, recently, I went a bit berserk on buying some things, things that I didn't really need. Um, but I'll start off with the DVDs and stuff I bought. I actually pretty much just bought all DVDs this time. No Blu-rays. Um, the first one I bought here is um, a sequel that I never knew they made. And I love the first one. I don't think the second will be that good, but I want to check it out and just see how it is because I love the first one. And um, the one I picked up is Vacancy 2. Uh, you can see that. It's a glare. Um, I don't think it'll be that good, but I just want to pick up. It was $3, so I definitely had to pick that up. Um, and the next three I picked up, I picked up solely because I'm a fan of these movies. Um, and they're the Lord of the Rings trilogy on DVD still books. Now, these are the only copies I didn't have. I have every single edition and copy available now on DVD and Blu-ray. So, um, I'm very happy to have them. Now, I was, I was a bit surprised. I was in a second-hand store sort of thing. And I had $8 DVDs. Or, um, it was 2 for 12 3 for 15 4 for 20 or something. And it came around about like a 2 to $3. And, um, there was a lot of old ones in there that I didn't really want to pick up. But there was some new ones, you know, brand new ones. Um, so I did the 3 for 15 which means $5 each. And the three I picked up were Diary of a Wicked 3. Five bucks, awesome deal. It's pretty much like brand new. The disc is brand new. Let's just get another one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The second one I picked up was Premium Rush. Um, I actually put this on reserve at my work for an next rental. I probably have to take that res reservation off now because um, I bought it for $5. Because um, I put a few movies on hold at my work. Um, I'm not going to tell you what they are until the next DVD or update, until I go into my work next and so I can pick them up. Um, but this next one I got um, was Fire with Fire. It's, yeah, Fire with Fire. Bruce Willis. Uh, this was the only really other one I could find that I didn't have. That Some of the other ones I had were like End of, they had End of Watch. I had that already. They had Savages. had that already from my work. That was like, probably the only other two new releases they had. Um, but I already had them. But they are the DVDs I picked up. Just them. Now on to the uh, books and junk. Um, this first one here. Um, my girlfriend actually picked up for me. Because um, we went you know, out one day and... I was like, oh, that looks pretty interesting, you know, I wouldn't mind picking that up, you know, in the next few months. And it was already 10% off, and it was, I think it came to like $5, and I didn't get it. Um, but she got it for me, and it's like the Cowboys and Aliens, um, you know, comic book. And it was $5, and I, I thought that, that looks pretty rough. I didn't get it, she ended up getting it for me, so I was very happy with that. Um, and the book that I picked up um, a little while back, with, when I went out with one of my friends, they came to $11.50 or something. Um, they didn't have the first one. I can't seem to find the first one anywhere. I'll just try and find it on eBay or something. And um, it's uh, Bookie Wookie 2, Russell Brand. Awesome, awesome book. Definitely give this one a read. Even if you don't read, this is a very, very funny book. Um, yeah, just just very funny. He's a very funny guy, in my opinion. I, I know some people don't really like him. They find him quite rude, which is what his humour is. And they find him, you know, very, um, you know... Peculiar, um, but I like his sense of humour, so there was a good reach for me. Now, um, I did pick up something um, a few days ago. I picked up an iPhone 4. So, yes, I picked up an iPhone 4. It's just charging at the moment. And also, I ran around like mad trying to find one of these things. I finally found one for $10. This the last one left in the store. It's one of these uh, little phone things that you can plug into your iPhone and you can just talk to it and it actually works like when you call someone you plug it into the headphones thing and you actually talk to them like this so the f you don't get radiation from your phone I thought it was pretty good cool for $10 and it's my favourite colour as well and you got a little button there so you can hang up so now um, I did ooh, I did go see the midnight uh, premiere for the um, Iron Man two, uh, Iron Man 3 for some reason I keep calling it the Avengers um, so I did go and see it because it came out in Australia this morning, um, the t Wednesday the 24th. It came out this morning at 12.01 a.m. That was the premiere. I saw it, so it was a midnight screening at 12.01 a.m. Wednesday morning. Um, me, my girlfriend, and one of my friends went to go see it in 3D. 
Um, it was quite a expensive thing for me because I paid for me and my girlfriend's ticket, uh, drinks and popcorn. I think it's like over 60 bucks for the night uh, just to see our, our Iron Man. But I did get a, um, a collector's cup, which is yeah, which is awesome. It's quite a big one. It wouldn't fit in the cup holder because it was like a limited edition. And I also got this um, popcorn bucket, which is pretty good. It's metal. It's a metal popcorn bucket. It's all embossed and everything. The whole popcorn thing is embossed. Yeah, so it was a very nice um, still tin there. Sorry, um, sorry for the cutaway there. Um, my phone started ringing. Um, well, for instance. Um, but we did go and see it. Now, um, when I got all these Blu-rays and stuff, we actually went to a, we actually went out for the whole day, went to all of these different stores, you know, comic book stores. So I'll try and put some footage in here. Um, you know, the comic book stores that we went to and there was a few other stores I went to, bookstores, DVD stores, all that sort of stuff. Um, cause me and all my friends, we love movies. Um, cause it was, we saw the movie, um, in the, at midnight that morning. And it didn't finish at 2.30 Wednesday morning. We got home, we stayed up to the rest of the night, we played some video games, watched some movies until about 10.30. And then we went to, um, we went out to the city and, um, you know, just went shopping and, you know, just went berserk. Um, and I'll try and put some other little footage and whatever. But um, I'll have my Iron Man 3 review up in the next few hours. Um, and I hope you guys like this video. Um, let me know what you thought think of anything I've picked up here, you know, and I'll see you guys later.